Now at 6 and only on CBS 46, a local company is leading the nation in taking recycling to a whole new level. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm gives us an inside look. If you routinely recycle, you know which types of plastics they'll take. Two liter bottles, certain food containers, but not film plastics. Grocery bags, for example, those have always been more of a challenge to recycle. Not for this company. In an unassuming building off Fulton Industrial Boulevard, everything you see in this warehouse would be going to a landfill. A company called Nexus sees value in the types of plastics that most of us throw away. Nexus founder and CEO Jeff Gold has worked in the environmental business his whole career. Several years ago, he read an article about a company that was making oil out of plastic shopping bags, so he tried it himself. And suddenly we saw a couple little drops of oil forming, dripping down, and everyone was just, including me, was just, oh my gosh. This really works. At first, he thought of using the oil as fuel that could be used to power vehicles, but thinking about the air pollution that would produce, he decided to instead sell it to companies that can use it to make more plastics. After a four-year pilot program, Nexus is now in official production. So how does the process work? It starts with sorting to get rid of any metals or other unwanted materials. A machine then shreds the plastics and reactors melt them down to the molecular level. It takes about eight and a half pounds of plastic to make one gallon of product. You do have critics who say, yeah, but he's not doing anything to reduce our dependency on plastic. Sure. Yeah, well, yeah and, and in fact, we are enabling the use of plastic. You know, plastic isn't something to throw out, it's a resource. So what we're trying to do here is say, let's value plastic as a resource, and then let's take that and create something new with it. There are other companies in the U.S. doing this, but Gold says he doesn't know of any as efficient as Nexus. His biggest challenge is getting the word out to companies that he'll take their unwanted film plastics, usually for free, and if they're clean enough, He'll even pay them for it. In Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Tonight, a 